I'm going to be giving a 100% spoiler-free review of A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. A brief overview of the story, Connor is dealing with the fact that his mother has a terminal illness, um, specifically cancer, and one night a monster comes to Connor and the story is about the two of them interaction and Connor coming to terms with his mother having an illness and what that all means. Um, particularly it covered grief really really well. It had some side characters and it kind of explored the grief and how they were also processing the event. I didn't necessarily agree with their actions but the characters felt so real. I even I couldn't stand Connor's dad. I felt for Connor in so many ways and um, his dad was just those moments with his dad were just cringing. Um, so the characterization felt so real. I also this is a book that made me cry. I sobbed especially in the last half. It was just an emotional roller coaster throughout. There's an element of magical realism and the fact that throughout the book it's not clear whether the monster is real or if the monster is just kind of a figment of Connor's imagination or in Connor's dreams. So you can kind of throughout the story you're trying to discover kind of whether or not this is all real. I also really enjoyed the writing, particularly the voice of the monster. There are so many quotes that I loved from the book and I will go ahead and share you probably my two favorites. Many things that feel true are a cheat. Kingdoms get the princes they deserve. Farmers' daughters die for no reason. And sometimes witches merit saving. Quite often actually. The other one I really enjoyed was belief is half of all healing. Belief in the cure, belief in the future that awaits. I felt this story was incredibly well written. I would say if you get to pick it up, I recommend not picking up the movie tie-in edition. I recommend picking up the copy with the actual illustrations because I felt like the illustrations themselves were part of the story and part of the reading experience. And I feel like it was so much more impactful because of the illustrations. That's not to say if the only edition you can get your hands on is the movie tie-in edition that I recommend that you not read it. That's not the case at all. Still read it. The story itself is powerful. I just feel like it's a whole nother experience with the illustrations. So if you can pick that up, I recommend doing so. Also, I haven't seen the movie adaptation. If you have and you liked it, let me know. If you're interested in more bookish content, please subscribe and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye guys.